Hi, this is Frankie, and today in Behind the Drapes, I'm gonna talk about tips that anesthesiologists and nurse anesthetists do to keep their patients safe during the procedure. It's extremely important to hydrate the patient, not only during the case, after the case, and it's important that the patients hydrate themselves both before the surgery and after the surgery to prevent any blood clots or increased risk of infection. It's extremely important that we administer the correct medications for the patients. So we check the medications multiple times during the procedure to ascertain that we're giving the right medication and the right doses every single time. We monitor, so we have several monitors applied to the patients that are giving us information on blood pressure, heart rate, pulse oximeter, their oxygenation, their ventilatory status, and the amount of anesthesia that's being delivered. We have the correct equipment in the room available to us the whole time accounting for possible complications. It's very important as an anesthesia provider that you have everything available to you at an arm's reach in order to protect the patient of any harm. It's extremely important that every anesthesia provider, nurse anesthetist, anesthesiologist, gives the most current information to their patients on possible complications so they can have an anesthesia consent that the patient consents to, that they understand their risks during the procedure. We always have to avoid over sedation. There's such thing as giving too much medication and we cannot take the medication back. So a lot of times, especially with pain medications during the end of surgery, we prefer to slowly titrate more medication as the patient after they wake up and if they have any discomfort, then to give a, a larger dose that might give us some complication. Not all anesthesia is the same and some medications might not be adequate for certain patient populations. So we have to understand our patients in order to give the, the proper anesthesia, the right medications for that particular patient. We always have to maintain a safe environment for our patients in the operating room. The operating room has many tools and many things that can cause harm to the patient if they're not used appropriate. And the most important tip is always have a plan for emergencies. Having a plan in place and an algorithm to follow in order to protect and deal with the situations that may present themselves is the most crucial step in providing anesthesia. I hope this helps you understand a little bit more about what it is to be an anesthesia provider and the things that we have to think about when we're caring for patients.